Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, the Nintendo Switch officially supports the Vulkan API, OpenGL 4.5, and OpenGL ES. Now, as usual, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video so you can check the article out for yourself and read it in its entirety. Now, um, this is very interesting news coming out today. Uh, Digital Foundry um, had an analysis on the uh, Nintendo Switch specs. They have some um, leaked information, and the CPU is going to be clocked quite lower than we expected. It's going to be running at about 1 gigahertz frequency, and the GPU will be running at 300 megahertz, and when it's docked, it'll be running at 700 plus megahertz. Now, I've got to say, this is quite low, the frequency, when you uh, compare it to the PS4 or the Xbox One. Uh, the only thing that's not known is how many CUDA cores that the uh, Nintendo Switch is going to have, so we don't really have an estimate of the teraflop uh, performance of the system. However, the clock speeds are quite low. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this article here. It says, the Kronos updated the list of conformant products with Vulcan... OpenGL 4.5 and OpenGL ES to include the upcoming Nintendo Switch console. The list was updated with this information just yesterday. Developers working on the Nintendo Switch will be able to choose between the three APIs developed and maintained by the Kronos Group. Of course, the next generation API is Vulkan, originated, originally referred to as OpenGL Next. Vulkan's 1.0 launched in February 2016, with a focus on reduced driver overhead, reduced load on CPUs thanks to the batching, and improved multi-core CPU scaling when compared to OpenGL. So like I said, this is going to be very good, especially uh, the rumor uh, specs suggest that it's going to be about one teraflops performance so now it, at one teraflops performance that's not a lot it's uh, a, actually a little bit under the uh, xbox one but with a low level api such as vulcan you'd be getting xbox like xbox one like graphic graphical performance on the system but like i said a lot of this is based on speculation until we have some hardcore uh numbers uh sorry concrete numbers on the system um you know it's all speculation at this point now i believe that if the uh switch can perform on the same level as xbox one i think it'll be all right i think if it's performing at a much worse level um i just can't justify uh it, its existence to be quite honest with you um, well, we're going to find out soon enough. I believe in three weeks' time, they're going to have the reveal for the Switch, and I guess all the details will be known at that time. But I, I must say it is good that it's going to be support, supporting these low-level APIs, such as Vulkan and OpenGL 4.5 and OpenGL ES, as the uh, Nintendo Wii U was not really supported that much by developers. So this is a good thing. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Um, do you guys are you guys disappointed on the uh, clock speeds that were revealed today? Do you think that the Vulcan API will actually assist this and actually negate that the speeds are a lot lower? Anyways, I'd like you to leave your comments down below. I ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.